Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a new challenge and this time we're going to find out how much difference a bike rack makes to an EV's range. Okay, so this one is going to be a very, very simple and very, very quick video. This is my new Cooper Tavascan and I bloody love it. Um, it is one of the slipperiest and most efficient of the MEB platform cars that VW Group makes. And I thought this would be a perfect example to see how much difference putting a bike rack and two bikes on the back of a car makes when you're doing a motorway journey. For instance, if you were going on a family holiday. Now, the rules of engagement are very, very simple. I'm charging now to roughly 60%, well, exactly 60%. And I'm going to do a loop from here uh, near Whiston um, on the M62. We're going to go down the M62 to Birchwood, back up again to, uh, I think it's the Tarbuck roundabout, which is just literally the other side of this uh, village hotel. And I'm going to come back, charge again up to 60%. Take the bikes off the back, put them inside the car. That's why I've got the seats down. And then we're going to repeat this and we're going to have two sets of results. And we're going to look at the amount of battery taken and also the indicated, indicated uh, miles per kilowatt hour. Okay, nice and simple. Get back to you in a second. Okay, that's a little bit late. Come on, keep on turning on. While we're here, I think it's, it's time to explain the location. So this is the new Ionity uh, charging hub at Village Hotels Liverpool, which is between Prescott and um, Whiston. If you know the Tarbuck roundabout on the M62, it is literally a minute and a half off that car makes beepy noise weird anyway yes so this is the location just off the m62 um it's got 12 stalls all of them are at 350 kilowatts and if you um are a subscriber like me it's on the power subscription power uh it is just 43 pence per kilowatt hour and if you don't then they do accept for anybody who's wanting to know like ev pretty much every single rapid charger, I think it's actually law that is above 50 kilowatts. Um, they have to be accessible just by your usual credit or debit card. Uh, these ones are as well. You will pay a higher rate. Uh, I think it is 71 pence. If that's not correct, I'll put it in the comments below uh, or I'll put it on the screen now. Anyway, back to it. Um, we've currently got uh, a couple minutes left to charge and then we'll be heading off and I'll be using the GoPro just to give you a, a frontal view and I might spin it around so you can see the, uh, the, the bikes on the back as well. Okay, bye.
Now, because of the roadworks at Tarbuck Roundabout, I'm having to come down to the Notty Ash Roundabout and turn around here. So the route is a little bit longer. Um, so far, we've done 29 miles and used up 15% battery. Uh, currently, we're averaging 2.5 miles to a kilowatt hour because of the well we had a headwind on the first leg and then obviously a tailwind just then and now we're going to get a little bit more headwind as we go back towards the table ground about to come off there to charge again obviously i'm sticking or trying my best to stick to uh, gps 70 which is an indicated 72 on the speedo Okay, so we've arrived back. Uh, the numbers are, we've averaged 2.6 miles per kilo hour. We've used up 17% of battery and we have done 32 miles. Okay, very quickly plug in, take the bikes off the back and do a little again. Hi everybody. Very, very quick one, a uh, quick update, quick thoughts on this uh, so far. Bikes, as you can see, are now in the back. About to stop charging because we're almost at 6% already. A very, very quick one. The weirdest sensation of this is the noise. You can hear the wind whistling through the bikes. That's how quiet this car is. Um, right, okay, sorry, 6%. Got to go. Now time to do the loop again, but this time, uh, au natural, so to speak. Um, nothing hanging off the back, so this should be what this car can achieve with this weight, but um, in its pure, slippery, normal guise. Okay, bye. far west end of the loop have a knotty ash roundabout it's taken 11 percent so far to do 28 miles and we've been averaging 3.3 3.4 miles to the kilowatt hour that is quite a substantial difference but give us a few minutes we'll get back to the start i'm not going to plug in again because well reasons but um, i'm going to get there and i'm going to see how much battery is left how much we've used up and make some conclusions <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, so we've made it back to Ionity. We've used up 13% and we've averaged 3.4 miles to the kilowatt hour and done the same 31, 32 miles. Now, uh, obviously that is one heck of a difference. Um, if you're doing a 100 mile journey to the lakes, you would need around 40 kilowatts to do it with the bike rack on and around 30 to do it with the bike rack, with the bikes inside the car. That is quite a substantial difference. If you take that at um, the charge rate of, let's say, uh, grid surf, which is, I think, 85 pence a kilowatt hour, that's £8.50's worth of difference of having the bikes inside the car on a 100 mile journey. Um, that, that's quite a bit of a difference. So uh, I hope that's been helpful and I hope you've enjoyed this very, very short video and it's either confirmed something in your mind, educated you if it hadn't and has been interesting in any other way. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you shortly. Bye.